Well, the streets have been painted and the scaffolding is going up outside the Denver City and County building. Tomorrow downtown will be packed with Avs fans hoping to get the best view of the Stanley Cup victory parade. Well, thank you for joining us at 10. A big night tonight and hundreds of thousands of you expected to line the streets tomorrow morning as the Avs give the cup a grand tour of downtown. Parade begins at 10 a.m. starts at Union Station. It will end eventually at Civic Center Park with a big celebration and lots of speeches. Tonight, Denver 7's Rob Harris is getting you ready for the parade with all the information you need to know. Yeah, and Jessica, hundreds of thousands of fans lining the parade route and Civic Center Park. That definitely means a lot of excitement's coming downtown, but they gotta get there first somehow. So parade organizers, city leaders, and RTD leaders are preparing for a lot of traffic. RTD plans to get a lot of fans to and from the celebration, but Thursday morning at 10 a.m., Convention Center Station will be the end of the line for the D&H lines. RTD will be making quite a few changes to adapt. The L line will shut down at 9 a.m. The Civic Center Station will close to bus traffic by 10 a.m. And the free mall ride on 16th Street will shut down at 8 a.m. RTD says they'll have all their buses and light rails running normally as soon as possible after the celebration, depending on how long it takes for the crowds to clear and for the streets to reopen. And speaking of that, if you're going to be driving downtown at all Thursday, you'll need to know the roads that will be closed. We, we really want to encourage people to be patient. Um, there's going to be a lot of folks out and about tomorrow downtown for this celebration, so patience can go a long way. The parade will start at Union Station and travel down 17th Street to Broadway, then down Broadway to 13th Avenue, ending at Civic Center Park for the rally. That stretch will be closed from 8 a.m. to noon. 14th Avenue will be closed from Delaware to Broadway from 6 a.m. to midnight. Bannock will be closed from Colfax to 13th from 6 a.m. to midnight. And Cherokee will be closed from Colfax to 13th from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you want to bypass the traffic and the closures, the Avs are encouraging you to bike or scooter to the celebration. There will be scooter parking in the grassy area off Colfax on the east side of the Wellington Webb building. So we're expecting quite a bit at Civic Center Park. Um, we know that we're going to have a VIP area as well as our Avalanche players and then a lot of members of the community. The rally at Civic Center Park starts at 9 a.m. and city officials tell me people can show up as early as 7 a.m. to get that perfect spot. The parade starts at 10 and parking in garages downtown is probably going to cost you more with event pricing. So if you'd rather not make your way through the traffic that comes with those hundreds of thousands of Avs fans, not to worry because we got you covered all morning with parade coverage on air and we're going to stream it online too. Jessica, it's going to be a fantastic morning. Thank you, Rob. And with hundreds of thousands, if not more, planning to attend the parade, safety will be critical. Denver's Office of Emergency Management asks that fans keep their distance from floats and not run alongside them. Parents should also write their name, address and phone number on a piece of paper and place it in their child's shoe in case you get separated. Carry an emergency health card with your information. We'd also want to encourage people, you know, if you're feeling sick, there's going to be medics on the ground. So be sure to flag a medic, be uh, sure to flag a first responder and let them know that you're not feeling well. The American Red Cross will also be at the parade providing water and first aid assistance. As far as a police presence, Chief Paul Pazin told us earlier this week that staffing will look much like it did during Stanley Cup game days. There were so many people expected at the parade. Space is going to be tight. So organizers now are asking fans, be mindful of that and limit what you bring. Now the city is asking fans not to bring the following. Okay, this is not to bring chairs or seating of any kind blankets, tarps, even beach towels. Do not bring umbrellas. Also don't bring large bags and that includes backpacks or beach bags. Don't bring inflatable objects like a beach ball or a latex balloon. And the city also wants people leave your dogs at home, of course, with the exception of service animals. 